After an attack, it may be necessary for you, your family, and any others who have taken refuge with you, to live in your fallout room for at least a week. It may not be safe for you to go outside to obtain any more food and water. So you will have to be prepared to live on the supplies you collected before the attack. You will now be shown what general provisions you should make. First of all, your furniture. Your shelter is going to be your living room, your bedroom, your washroom, your kitchen, and your storeroom. It must have the basic furniture to fulfill all these requirements, but at the same time, floor space should be saved wherever possible. Use shelf space to its best advantage. Your room will need seating, bedding, a portable radio and spare batteries so that you can receive advice and further instructions, amusements and pastimes for you and the children, simple cooking equipment and fuel, and a large store cupboard for food supplies. You will need to have by you a reserve of tinned and other non-perishable food. This should be enough to feed the whole household and possibly some extra mouths for at least a fortnight. Wrap up all your food, except for tin stuffs, and keep it in closed cabinets or cupboards. Food is not harmed by fallout radiation, but anything that has had fallout dust on it will be contaminated and made dangerous to eat. If there are babies or young children, remember their special food, and don't forget the pets. It may not be possible to keep all your food in the fallout room, but you should keep as much food there as possible. Any remaining food should be kept in your larder or in a cupboard close to your fallout room. Once there has been a warning of fallout, it may be dangerous to leave your fallout room except for very short periods to collect more food and water. After a nuclear attack, the mains water supply may fail or become contaminated by fallout. Store as much water as you can. For drinking, you will need a minimum of two pints per person per day. Three days ration of drinking water should be kept in sealed flasks, bottles or jars inside the fallout room itself. Do not waste the water. It may have to last you a fortnight. Fill the bath, the hot and the cold tanks and every available container. Keep reserves away from the light and covered. Water stays fresher in the dark and if fallout dust gets into the water, it will be contaminated. Find the whereabouts of your main stopcock and be ready, if there is a warning of attack, to turn off the supply. After an attack, you may not be able to use your lavatory because of insufficient water for flushing. Therefore, you must make alternative arrangements for sanitation, either in your fallout room or just outside the door. You will also need to provide a dustbin as there will be no way of disposing of your refuse. Finally, first aid. A simple but well-stocked first aid box. You must be able to help people who are injured or taken ill. It is essential that your fallout room is properly equipped for sleeping, eating, drinking, storage, cooking, refuse, sanitation, and emergency first aid. Remember, you may have to live in the room for at least a week. Your survival may well depend on the care and foresight with which you have supplied your room.